In this video, I'll be doing an end-to-end -end demo of the Sync Tool platform. The platform is divided into two main areas. The Organization and the My Files tab at the top are the two different sides of the Sync Tool product. In this screen, you're viewing the dashboard. The dashboard is where you can set up organization policies, can control what users can share in the system, what folders they have access to. It's where administrators can set up reports, activity logs, backup policies, team shares. But the typical employee at a business would not have access to the dashboard. The end user portal is on the My Files tab. This is where the typical employee would log in and view the files that they are syncing to the cloud and the folders that they are syncing to the cloud. In my system tray, you can see the sync tool with the current files and folders that are on my Windows 8 hard drive. In the cloud view, you can see that the files I have on my local hard drive are also sitting on the cloud server. So if I set up another file into the sync folder, and we'll make this a text document, I'm creating a file on my local hard drive. If I make changes to this file, the sync tool is continuously syncing up the revisions of this file into the cloud. The system is smart enough to know just to sync up the changes that I'm making as file revisions. The sync tool will not take a snapshot of the file all at the same time. It will just continuously sync up the binary changes as they occur. It uses an rsync algorithm, so it will take up less bandwidth and disk resources as the files are stored in the cloud. Sure enough, in my system view here in the My Files tab, I can see that the Run and Errand text document is currently not just on my local PC's hard drive, but it's in the cloud and is immediately across platform. I now have access to this file on my iPhone, my Android tablet, and my PC at home. When I right click on a file or folder, you can see all the different menu options. One of those options, for example, is revisions. You may recall that I just made a couple changes to that file and you can see each of those revisions here. I can actually go and restore the file from any of these different points in time. Another menu option when I right click on a file or a folder is to share. This is an important aspect of the Sync Tool platform. You can sync or share files or folders with other users in a matter of seconds. Keep in mind that a folder might have 30, 40, 50 gigs of data in it. And because the sync tool allows you to share 40 or 50 gigs of data by just clicking on your mouse a few times, you're replacing the need to use FTP server or other methods of sending large data. The sync tool allows you to put expiration dates on your shares. If you don't want the recipient to be able to access that file or folder after a specific date, that link will expire. You can also have the sync tool send a unique link to each person on the thread. The reason you would want to do this is because you may want to know when the recipients are opening and downloading those files. The system will track all activity and that occurs if a user creates a file, for example, it's logged. If a user updates a file, if a user sends a file to another recipient, and as I mentioned before, if that recipient clicks on the link that is sent to them, it will be logged. This can be very beneficial for organizations that want to know when different employees are accessing files, editing files, and sharing company data with third parties. Another way to share files is not just sending links, but users within the system can also be members of team shares. Team shares are more collaborative. If two users are part of the same team share, they can edit and collaborate on files in real time. One thing that makes Sync Tool very different than other file sync, file share, and collaboration platforms is that Sync Tool is designed to run as a service and not just run on PCs and MacBooks and mobile phones and tablets, but Sync Tool can actually be installed on file servers, can be installed on terminal servers. And so if you have local file servers set up at your organization, Again, you can install the Sync Tool agent directly onto those file servers. So if we pretend that the Sync video is a file server enablement candidate, in other words, it's a file server, what the tool will let you do is go in and map folders on that PC or file server, and you can actually replicate any folder on that directory structure 
any subfolder on that directory structure directly into the cloud environment. So the net net here is you're able to replicate files and folders from the local server directory into the sync tool cloud. You're then able to take the sync tool cloud and map that to different users or different team shares, which are groups of users, getting rid of the need for VPN. Users will no longer need to use VPN or any point-to-point -point connectivity because they can access their files via the cloud. For the employees that are in the office, they can access their files like they always have through their map drives and network shares that the IT administrator has set up for them. We view this as the best of both worlds. You have access to your files locally and out of the office, whether you're on an iPhone, an iPad, or your home computer. Now going over to the organization settings. Again, I'm under the organization tab. I'm no longer under the employee portal view. I'm no longer under the My Files tab. And here I can go in and set up policies specific to all of the organizations that I'm managing. So for example, one of the first things you'll set up in a policy is a quota. How much storage do you need? Or how much storage does this organization that you're managing need allocated? A terabyte? Maybe it needs a petabyte. That's up to you. It's all controlled by the administrator. Another example of a policy setting that you can control are excluded file extensions. For example, you may not want employees syncing JPEGs, movies, MP3s, or other files that have nothing to do with the business. You can block them. That way, these types of files will not take up unnecessary disk space. They will not take up unnecessary bandwidth resources. And there's all sorts of other controls under the policies. The platform was designed to give IT administrators a lot of control that may not be available in other products in the marketplace. For example, you don't want certain employees at a company to be able to go in and erase old revisions of files. Sync tool allows you to restrict them from doing so. Or maybe you have compliance or SLAs you need to follow through on that require that data is retained for a certain length of time. So in this case, I'm telling the platform under the policy that it needs to retain revisions on every file for up to a year. You don't want to allow users to share links with other users. You have the ability to restrict them at the org level or sub org level. Another key feature here is the ability to actually restrict bandwidth consumption. A lot of other sync products on the market can consume quite a bit of bandwidth. So by having the control, you can ensure that the up and down bandwidth will not degrade or slow down the network performance. We also allow throttle exceptions. So if employees are not in the office during the weekends or at different custom timeframes, you want to allow for more bandwidth over the wire, uh, you can have the sync tool consume all the bandwidth the entire churn. Sync tool also integrates with Active Directory and LDAP. This is really important if you've got an organization with a couple hundred users. You do not have to go in and manually set up a username and password for every employee at the company. You can simply take all of the credentials on the domain controller and sync them into the Sync Tool cloud. Once they're in the cloud environment, the end users can log into the Anchor web portal with the same credentials they log into their computer with. It's easy for you to set up. It's easy for you to deploy. It's easy for your employees to use, and it's very easy to manage. I should point out this is not just a one-time import of data. This is continuous LDAP sync. So if a user changes their AD password, it'll dynamically update that data in the cloud. Sync tool also integrates with many different PSA help desk and ticketing products. A couple of examples would be ConnectWise and Autotask. SyncTool also has an open API, so if you have development resources on your team, you should look into different ways of using third-party apps that you're using today and integrating them into the SyncTool platform. More information can be found on our API through the Knowledge Base articles. And SyncTool can be completely branded. You can label your company name and icon, or if you're servicing other organizations, you can use their company name and icon. Not just the web UI can be branded, but the entire 
product can be white labeled, including the agents and the apps that run on PCs, MacBooks, and mobile devices. The Sync Tool platform allows IT administrators to com have complete control over what users can subscribe to which folders, and a common folder is otherwise known as a team share. So for example, if I wanted to set up a team share for this default organization, I would be able to choose which of the different employees to give access to that data. In this case, John Doe and AD Demo will have access to this folder. No other users in the system will have access to that sync folder. So when I open up the sync tool here, you would see a team share show up that would give me access to the company resources that the IT administrator allowed. But it's more granular than just that. You have the ability to control what machines those users have access to the folders on. In some cases, you might have a 100 gigabyte folder in the cloud, and the last thing you want is for that folder to show up locally on every user's machine. No problem. Just give the user web-based access, which means the user has to log into their web portal, again, the My Files view, to view their data. But the Sync tool also supports WebDAV, a protocol that allows you to map a drive directly from the end user's machine to the cloud. So it looks like the data is local on their machine. It looks like the data is in their sync folder, but it's actually all in the cloud. It's a map drive. They don't have to log into a browser to view their data. They can have a shortcut directly to the map drive. That way, they don't have 100 gigs of storage in the cloud taking up 100 gigs of local hard drive space. So again, the sync tool allows you to have full access and control over what users can do in the system, who has access to what data and what rights they have on that data. It allows you to have a full view of what users are doing in the system and what you're managing throughout the organization. For example, how many users you're managing, accounts are users, how many machines you're managing, machines are devices. You have a full view of how much storage has been allocated, how much space has been used, bandwidth consumption over time, storage consumption over time. All of this is tracked and monitored in the Sync Tool platform. This can be very useful, especially if you want to run reports, for example. And you can run your report every week or every month or every year. It's an automated report that will show how much storage is being used or how many users or machines are being managed, how much bandwidth is being consumed. These are all important metrics. If you're an internal IT administrator, that can be very important to understand how the system is consuming resources on the network. If you're an outsourced IT administrator, it can be very important because you can then track the different metrics you're billing your customers to manage. Either way, it's a very useful part of the platform. Sync Tool also has the ability to back up any folder on any machine, not just data that's in the local sync folder. That's how products like Dropbox work. You're limited to only backing up data to the cloud that's in the Dropbox folder. Again, this solution works very different. You have the ability to sync any folder and all of the data within that folder into the cloud environment. It's open file continuous CDP backup. And then you can restore that data to a different path in case somebody loses a folder, loses their laptop, you have full data protection. This overview was to give you a general idea of what the Sync Tool platform can do. It is a comprehensive sync, file collaboration, file sharing, and data backup solution.